All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be working on the Subaru, but before we get into the Subaru, I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, I am all about my garage having the brightest lights because I like to be able to see. So I wanted to show you these lights because I didn't know about them. I just saw them on a, uh, it was a YouTube ad and I checked them out and I love them. So I'm gonna show them to you guys. Let me turn them off so you can see them. So this is them. As you can see, they've got five paddles and then a light in the middle, and those are adjustable. So you can tilt, up, tilt all five up or down. I've got two of them, one over there, one over there. And I'll, I'll show you how bright they are. I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the garage. And then I am going to turn just those two on. So, so that is just those two lights. So if you guys want those lights, because really they're the brightest, and all they do is they just screw right into your normal light fixture. So if you guys want those lights, I'll link them down in the description and uh, you can check them out for yourself if you want. They're really some of the brightest lights I have found that just screw right up into your light fixture. And uh, as you can see, they're super bright. So check those out if you want them. All right, so today we are going to be, we're gonna be installing what's in that box. And what's in that box is side skirts for the, uh, for the Subaru that I got off Amazon, $150 for both of them. So they're not the most expensive and I'm sure they're not gonna be perfectly straight. First off, I am going to start by cleaning the, the side skirts that are already on the car because we don't want to trap a bunch of dirt in between our side skirt extensions and the OEM side skirts. So I'm just going to take some waterless car wash by Chemical Guys and go along and wash, well, wash the underside and the, the side of the side skirts. All right guys, so I got those cleaned. Uh, now I am going to just kind of fit these up there on the sides to see how off they actually are with being cheaper, cheaper side skirts. They did come with these small self tappers. So for now I'm gonna use these but these usually aren't the best for one they're so small and for two on my front lip when i use these on the first front lip they started to kind of rust but just for fitting up the side skirts i'm going to use these for now and then eventually i'll get some some bigger self tappers so let's start fitting the first side up i'm going to start with the driver's side Here we go. 
All right, guys. So that side was a lot easier than I expected. Um, I just lined up the back here and pushed this all the way up as far as I could and put in a screw back here all the way in the back. And then there's kind of a little ridge on this. I don't know if we can see it, yeah. So, you can see this line going all the way down that. So I just, I lined that line up right on that ledge. And towards the end here, it started to flare out. You can almost see like a divot there. But I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. It, it, it kind of looks like it's supposed to flare out there. So I, I think that looks really good. But before I put more screws in, I'm going to do the other side and see if the other side bolts up as straight as this side because this, the passenger side almost looks a little more curved. Okay, so I am kind of surprised. Passenger side was just as easy. Uh, it was, it, it did take some more force, but this plastic is put pretty uh, flexible. So you can move it. I mean, you might have seen in the video on this back end, I, was, I pushed it in as far as I could and as hard as I could, put a screw up. And then right here, you can see this bend here. I was pushing this in as hard as I could and I put another one there and I kind of did that all the way throughout. Overall, I am very satisfied with this cheap kit. Um, before we're done, I'm going to take those back off. But what we're going to do is we're going to wash them and then we're going to take this stuff and all this is, is a little, uh, it comes with gloves. They're, they're just like pads that have this ceramic trim coat. They're, they're like soaked in that. And all you do is wipe that down, wipe any of your black plastics down, and it basically makes it look like they're painted gloss black. Deep in the dark, down on my knees, I've seen things that you wouldn't believe. I was
right guys, so as you saw, all I did was just wipe it down and I really focused, I didn't really focus on the part that's gonna be under the car, but as you can see, that put a super nice gloss look onto the plastic. And I also, those pads will go a long way. So I, I kind of wasted one, but um, I also did this part of my mirror very carefully because I, I don't I heard you don't want to get it on your paint I think it leaves like a film so I did that on both sides this looked horrible so I'm excited to do the front lip but uh, anyway we will go ahead and let that dry real quick I don't really know how long so I'll wait like 10 minutes and then put it back on the car I'll just be careful not to touch the wet part of it Okay guys, so I am very happy with this kit. Uh, the only thing is that when you buy this, make sure you have extra hardware because for one, that's not enough. And for two, it's, those are small. So I would buy the bigger, the bigger, uh, uh, I would buy the bigger self tappers. Uh, as you can see, it fits real good on the edge. This side is about a quarter inch short, which is to me no big deal. I think the other side's even closer. So right there, flush, and the front side, oh no, it's a little less than a quarter. But I love it. So if you guys want this kit, I'll have the link down in the, the, the Amazon link down in the description for where I bought it. And then also I will link this, I will link this Cerakote trim coat in the description where I bought it. If you want that, that stuff, I've never used that before, but it's super nice. Just to show you the before and after, here's the front lip that I haven't done yet compared to that super nice so and you can see where I wiped that down that looked well pretty similar to to that so that stuff is sweet okay so I hope you guys like that video um, I'm super pleased with all that as I've said a million times but yeah, so I hope you guys liked that video. If you did like it, hit that like button for me and go check out some of my other content on this car. I've got a rail buggy. I've got like one thing for my truck in there, but go check it out. And if you like it, subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys.